Hi again, guys. It looks like we had some technical difficulties, which doesn't surprise me. I am a shoe expert, not a technical expert. Anyway, welcome back. And uh, let's keep going here. So I think we're ready to actually do the dyeing. Let me go ahead and get my gloves on. Oh yeah, I also, um, in the previous video, I made a link to these really great latex gloves. I use them for all the dyeing. I use them for the shoe polish. And anyway, oh, let me get a cloth. So uh, definitely keep some paper towels on hand. I am going to uh, make sure I open this up and have access to all of the spaces on this shoe. So I'm applying my Cadillac uh, leather conditioner and it also kind of cleans. So that's nice, this will really soften it up. I've uh, done a couple of videos where um, I've dyed, I've done this to a leather saddle, I've done leather jackets, I've done a full uh, ottoman, you know, just chair with an ottoman. And I get a lot of people who are trying to uh, fix their leather furniture. And so uh, the, the process is all the same, except uh, on a couch or on a bag, um, we'll just do one at a time. Okay, so here's my die. And I will go ahead and use my, da my dauber for the big spaces. This shoe's pretty easy, as you can see. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it. Get all the big spaces with this. And then shoes are pretty easy, especially a black shoe. That is very easy to do. Let me move this down here. And it's a bit smelly. I would, I always recommend doing a well ventilated area, sometimes like, you know, your garage or something like that. But this one isn't as bad as what the Lincoln used to be like. It's not as bad. So here we are. And I hope you all can see how easy this is. Um, I do love working with the other colors. Um, and I'll probably do one on a, a brown shoe for you guys sometime. And I'm just gonna go around the whole thing. Um, one of the things that you wanna make sure is that if the dye happens to um, roll down on a shoe, you wanna make sure that it doesn't drip onto your you know, desire, like your footbed. If you've got a nice shoe and you didn't want that to Let's say this was brown. I've got a black upper. I would wanna make sure to dye it facing this way so that if it runs, it runs down and not that way on the, on the leather of the shoe. Um, this one is black, so it's pretty easy. And just on the inside, I'm gonna go ahead and use my brush because um, I don't like it to get sloppy on the insides here. We're just gonna be really uh, nice about it. And as you see, I'm wearing an apron and that is because this stuff can splash. I've got splashes on my table just now. Uh, the black's easier enough to clean up, um, but still you make sure you've got your surfaces prepared. like that and I'm going pretty fast you know this is a I do a lot of this so I'm not going to spend hours and hours on this but if you want to take your time or use multiple colors or something okay so there we go I think I've got everything covered oh no got this whole space here so let's do this spots here. Go around the buckle. There we go. It's very nice. There we are. Around the buckle. 
And then I also like to make sure that as, you know, cause I'm, the client's gonna pick it up, they'll be looking down on it. So I wanna make sure that the view that you get from this side looks nice. And it makes a difference. It gives it a more uh, finished look. So for instance here, these little edges, they could stand and be freshened up. There we go, I like that. And I think we got all of these. Okay, look how easy that is. We're moving on, moving on. Uh, okay, next, so now I don't have to let this dry. I could if I wanted to, but it's already in there as much as it's gonna soak in. So now the next step is to apply some uh, Money's Worth's Best Shoe Cream. And it, like I said, it has a tint in it, but all right, so here we go. And it's so easy, you know, I also like to use, I prefer to use an old t-shirt cut up or something like that. Um, I just forgot to bring it over here. Oh my gosh, this looks so great. So this happens to be a Birkenstock and I've done a lot of how to fix Birkenstock videos. Um, this guy said that these Birkenstocks are about 25 years old and their very few feet shoes fit his feet. See how easy that is? Just like that. And here we go. And we'll do this side too. I'm actually going to repair the sole. I'm changing out the sole on this, but it needed this so badly. I'm just including it. I always include a luxury shine, which is the same thing, the cream polish and the wax, but it definitely needed the dye. And as you can see, it didn't, it wasn't that hard. Okay. Awesome. Easy, right? Super easy. And this is the Lincoln Stain Wax, which is super awesome. I love this stuff. And if it starts to, uh, some of this stuff, it, it can crack. You know, like you open your can and it's got cracks in it. Just apply a heat gun and melt it down. Okay, so this is super easy. I'm just going to use my horsehair dauber. So um, one of these days I'm going to have my chat set up because I'm really curious to see where everybody's from and what experiences you've had, what project you're working on, if you have a special question about it. Um, I've had questions um, about go, doing, trying brown, so I'll do that at some point, but black is of course the most common. Okay, done. And basically you guys are helping me get my work done. <laughs> So, okay, so now I've got a horse hair uh, brush and the key to a really nice shine with a brush is you actually lift the brush off of the shoe and back on again. That ends up giving you more friction. It just seems to work better. And um, basically, let me put this, I'm trying to chat with you guys on here, but it's not working. So let's try that again. Okay, so. It's so easy. Just some, uh, you know, it definitely takes a little bit of muscles just to, to do it right. And let's make sure you get a nice light for you. Oh yeah. I'm sure you can see from there. Let's just show you a little better. It's already getting a nice shine on it. So we'll keep going. And I can tell when I am, uh, either if you've got too much wax on your brush over time. Sometimes they need to be, you know, cleaned up. And um, you know, I'm gonna move this so you guys can get light on this shoe. There we go. All right, so, um, but you can tell it has almost like a cloudy finish to it. 
don't mind the noise in the back. I have a plumbing company on the other side of my, my shoe repair shop. Okay, so, you know, in this instance, I usually will go over the sole here with, it's uh, called Yankee Wax, but I'll actually take this and I'll run it across a, a wheel and it'll apply some thick wax. So I'm gonna do it that way. But for you, if you wanted to do that, you can bring that wax, the Lincoln, right down onto there and just, you know, rub it in, shine it up. It makes a huge difference. So um, you can do that on that. It just uses more product, but it's not that expensive anyway. So, all right. So I would say that he, I'm gonna let it go this way. I'm still gonna sand and stuff and put a new sole on. All right, so that was it. That's how to dye a leather shoe. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing the rest with you guys in case I have somebody new that has tuned in and missed the first part. Um, so anyway, uh, for those of you, thanks for joining me. And uh, we are going to go to the first step of this project, which is to clean with the conditioner. And I'm just going to apply this to the whole shoe. It kind of cleans it, but it also nourishes the leather. And I love the, the softness that it brings to um, uh, this. I just noticed that this guy needs a buckle. Wow, he's gonna need a buckle on that. So anyway, let's keep going. This stuff is so great. Um, this Cadillac boot and shoe care. I could put on, you know, five coats if I wanted to. It would just make it m more and more beautiful. All right, so there we go. I'm getting into all these little cracks in here. Okay, and then we're gonna go back to step two, which is the dye. And for those of you that are just tuning in, I am using the Angelus leather dye and um, it's really great. It comes with the dauber and it also, I'm recommending that you buy the pack of paint brushes. So this is my favorite and I will include the link. I have it on the video just before, but we had technical difficulties. So here we are without the difficulties. And here we go. So I'm just going to uh, apply this right here. It looks beautiful. I love uh, the dyeing because it just makes your product like a makeover shoe. I, I, I put a lot of those on my Facebook page before and afters. So Angelus, uh, Lincoln used to make a d leather dye, a very good leather dye, but um, now it's Angelus is making it and they've got a little bit different product and it's nice. I like working with it. It's pretty smooth, still pretty easy to clean up, but it's not water-based. So um, there we go. Do you see that, everybody? Dye this little buckle, get under the buckle. That's what I like about these brushes. They just, you can get around, you know, I've got this, this stitching here, and so the dauber just doesn't fit in there very well. So I just go ahead and use my brush. And it's easy enough. And at some point I will be getting an overhead camera view so that you'll be able to see this a little better. But for now you get the idea. And I'm just getting every spot. It's a little harder with the black on black because I have to really look for where my dye is going and make sure it's on everything. And as I mentioned on the first shoe, you want to, um, the dauber works best for edging. And so just get a little bit of dye on that. And I'm just gonna go over these top edges here so that when the client looks down on the shoe, it has that nice finished look. Those are the tricky spots because the deceiving, because sometimes little strings stick up, like this one's got a string here. So if we were going for perfection, we would wanna cut those strings, you know, so that your eye, it doesn't distract your eye when you're looking at the shoe. And here, same in here. I'm just gonna do the edge of this. 
Wow. It's so nice to see all leather shoes. This shoe, you know, like even the, the insole of this material, the lining, the outside, it's all leather except for the sole. That's funny. Um, but that's what makes them, you know, the, the good shoes are made of the good quality products. Luckily on this, even though it's a plastic sole, I can put on a Birkenstock sole. So that's, I'm just gonna put it right onto the bottom. I'm gonna sand the shoe and just put it right on the bottom. It's fine. Look at that, beautiful. Um, get these little edges. Okay, great, so easy. I really like that um, that you don't have to wait hours for it to dry in between. Um, if I were doing a chair, okay, and I have a video, how to dye a black leather chair <laughs> on my YouTube channel, uh, but basically you wouldn't put on the polish, the polish or the wax. That's my running watch, sorry. <laughs> Anyway, um, you wouldn't do those because as you sat in the chair, it would rub off on your clothing. You don't do it on a handbag because it too would rub off on your clothing as you're holding it. It is really hard to get all of the wax and finish off. So I would stop at this, you know, I'd do this, and then I'd come through with my conditioner. And I would use this conditioner over and over. I would take a towel, I'd put this on, I'm not going to down because I'm gonna wax this. And then I would just keep going over it until the residue is gone. And that's how you handle a chair or a big garment, a big item. Um, but for here, because we are doing the shoe, we are going to go ahead and add some. This is the Money's Worth Cream Polish. And they are, in my opinion, super awesome. Used to be another company, but they are no longer doing it. There we go. Very nice. And so where these, uh, where the toes were worn, um, it's okay. I'm really putting that cream polish on there so it just soaks into that dry leather. And here we are. Go ahead. And part and I think you know with uh, people that are you know you're back east now you've got fall coming up you really want to protect your shoes this is a great thing to do before the season hits I mean I know uh, you know especially your good office shoes and stuff I just did a video yesterday of how to clean uh, shoes so if you've got an issue in a place where you've got uh, salt on the roads or salt on the walkways or something like that I have a great recommendation there for how to clean your shoes, okay? And um, let's see here. So if you are following on my YouTube channel, I've got a link to my website listed in the description down below. And um, there we go. All right, and we'll go ahead to the last step, which is the link and stain wax. Okay, so here we are. This is so easy. I've got the wooden handle horsehair dauber. Uh, this one's made by Star, but I also like the Taco brand, T-A-C-C-O. They have great products. to really use this brush to get into the crooks and crannies, you know, around where the leathers are, the, the threads. Okay, so there we go. And let's go ahead and give it a shine. So here is the six inch horsehair um, brush and they come in black and they come in white or like a cream color. Neutral is what we call it. And um, so I usually dedicate one for the color. So black obviously goes with the black. 
And then I've got some for brown, I've got some for my mahoganies, and then the other one is for the neutral colors. So if you do a lot of shoe, uh, shoe polishing, you'd probably wanna do the same for yourself. Otherwise the color really does transpose to the other items. Okay, so here we go. And I'm making sure to get this brush right into these little, uh, the, you know, the thread holes and just get a really nice shine on that. It's so great. Uh, the wax also, you know, protects the shoe. So, um, you know, uh, staining and water drops, it doesn't waterproof it, but it definitely helps for the, to, to keep fluids from dropping on it. You're not dropping on it, but from coming through to the leather. It's definitely the first step of uh, preventing and protecting your shoes. They make a waterproofing product, but I think really unless you go with a Gore-Tex, you really, it's hard to waterproof much of anything. Okay. So um, people that dye leather jackets, if you found me and you are wanting to dye a leather jacket, believe it or not, I get a lot of that. <laughs> a lot of people would ask me about it and a lot of views on my YouTube video about it. Um, but if you do that, I'd recommend going with a, um, you know, maybe a two inch brush. Sometimes even on a, like on that ottoman and couch that I did, I used a three inch brush. Um, it really helps to keep, especially if you're going from a light leather to a, a dark leather, um, you can see the streaks more. If you're just doing the whole thing with this tiny little brush, it is really hard to get a nice solid finish, right? So I use a bigger brush and then uh, I usually go over it. If I'm going to do it twice, I'm going to go over it one right after another. I don't wait for it to dry and then do another one. Um, sh again, you don't, and you can never take a shoe from dark. You can't dye it lighter. You can only paint it lighter, but you can only go darker than the darkest color. You can't lift a color like that. So, um, but Angelus makes a leather paint and I use it a lot. When I'm touching up things, they've got all kinds of colors. It's awesome. And so, uh, there we go. I'm done with this now. I'm gonna go ahead and you know move him into the resoling process. But in case I miss somebody, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same process starting with this shoe. And we're gonna just finish up this pair. Um, it's part of my workload. So we're all doing it together. And uh, this one, I am not gonna do any conditioner. I think we're fine just applying. I'll show you what it looks like. Hi, I'm gonna sneak up here and see my texting because I'm so glad. Hey, thank you. My friend makes these aprons and they're fantastic. They are full coverage. Um, we sell them for 40 if you like them. I'd be happy to send you one. They're great, they cover everything and my clothes would get so dirty here. So, hey, welcome, welcome to my show. Okay, so um, I have a website, terryedmonds.com. You can uh, email me. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to show you all of the other colors. I might even do a video on it. Okay, so here we go. Let's do this one here. I wish I had my chat working over here by me, you guys, because I would love to chat, but I promise I will before the end of the month. <laughs> And anybody who's leaving messages that I can't read at the moment, I will go back and look at it and um, try to reach out to you. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so here's an instance where I don't need the brush. I want, it's taking too long. I'm gonna use my dauber, okay? And so this guy, I think this is like a six wide. That's how big this shoe is. And it is a Pro-Pay. Anybody out there who has big feet, uh, Pro-Pay is a good solution. They actually do make big shoes, which is nice. Um, here we go. They last a long time. I think he's had this a very long time. And 
voila. You guys, I'm so glad you're hanging out with me. Thank you. I'm glad you found my uh, channel here. It's really super, it makes my day. All right. So uh, one of the other things I should have put on that list, if you do a lot of dyeing, like if you work with saddles or you're kind of got a side gig going, you're making belts or something like that, um, I recommend getting a respirator. I wear a respirator here for gluing and dyeing and things like that. I obviously couldn't do that for you today, but um, there we go. Okay, got all the spots, that's fantastic. And we'll just go ahead. I really like using old shirts for this, you know, old cloths, so. I'll make sure to remember that next time. All right, and we are gonna polish it because um, this is a luxury shine. And it is going to help the shoe, definitely. Uh, the shoe, I can see it's got, it's called a full grain. And so it's got little, you know, little ridges in it. And you really wanna get the, you know, get that product in there. Here we go, just really rubbing it in. And again, I don't uh, buff off the cream polish first. I like to just kind of layer it with some of this wax. So here we go. Very nice. Okay. This is super easy. I'm using my wooden handled horse hair dauber. That's what it's called. And they are fantastic. Makes it so much easier. Uh, you know, rags are fine for like buffing out. Like sometimes if I wanna get uh, more of a polish, I'll use a like a terry cloth towel because they're kind of rough and you want that. You know, you want something to kind of, uh, it's, not, it's like it's polishing you're you're roughing and smoothing it you know with this rough cloth and that's the key so uh, same with the brush you know don't go easy on it <laughs> okay shoe you're gonna get it no all right uh, but you do you want that friction the friction causes heat and it heats up that wax a little bit and it gives it way more of a shine so this guy's toes, if you remember the toes on both pairs of these shoes, they were like super warm. And this just is awesome. There we go. And again, one of the other uh, tips I wanna highlight is when you're dyeing the shoe, be sure to dye it so that the liquid rolls in the direction where it's safe instead of rolling the other way. Okay, so that's about as shiny as he's gonna get without doing a spit shine on it, you know? Um, that's great. And then of course, like I mentioned, you can, if you'd like, you can take your wax and you can go over the rubber with it, but I'm gonna use another product called Yankee Wax. And I use it on my big industrial machine that's in the back. I don't know if you guys can see, but my workshop's back there. And someday I'm gonna give you a tour when I get all my tech stuff figured out and let you guys see what it's like in the back. It's, it's really great. I've got some very cool machines. Okay, wait, let's stop. Let's do the dye. Uh, yeah. Okay. So here we go, one more time. And I'm just taking this dye right on to this leather here. It's interesting.
because artistic stuff, of course, that always changes the price. But, um, oh, uh, so my point with that is that if you have a cobbler near you, uh, they can also do it for you. But I'm kind of artistic, so I like to do it. It's fun. I like to see the, the finished results. Let's do it this way so you can see. Oh yeah, very nice. Very nice. So I, I wish I could ask you guys how many of you have been to Maui. Um, it's so beautiful over here. I On my uh, YouTube channel, I have one, A Day in the Life of the Cobbler, where I try to show you some beautiful beaches and things like that of my world out here. It's pretty nice. I like to surf on my time off. And um, I really wanted to find a career where I could make money doing what I loved and I love art and funny but it's shoes now but it's uh, where my career has landed but it's pretty awesome it's pretty special okay but the key okay so we've done the die now we're gonna do the money's worth the money's money's worth best cream polish And this shoe is really soaking up the polish, so it's probably a good thing that we did this. This company makes diabetic footwear too, so if you're out there trying to find some diabetic footwear, um, sometimes it's covered under uh, Medicare. So if you're one of those people, you should check with uh, your physician and see if you're qualified for it. Uh, like I said, this is all leather, which is nice because we can polish it, we can keep it alive, and keep this running for this guy. Yeah, he even has the special uh, orthotics that come with this. Uh, it's a program. I think they give you like three orthotics with the shoe. And um, I used to carry it. That's how come I know. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, so easy. And we'll just clean that up so don't touch everything else. Okay, so that's quite messy there. All right. Okay, you guys, you ready? This is the final. Ha <laughs> ha, here we go. All right. Um, sometimes if, if you've got laces in there, I'll even cover the laces with it. Just protects them. It even kind of shines them up when you shine the whole shoe. So. Okay. We are almost done. Okay. Here we go. Again, if you're doing a couch or a jacket or a handbag, you do not want to do this step. This is only really for shoes. Belts are okay if you do the outside of the belt. Um, but this, you know, it's, it's hard to get the excess residue off. So if you're going to do that, you know, proceed with caution. Okay. So, all right, done, finished. That's fantastic. Let's go review the products one more time. We've got the Angelus. We have the uh, paintbrushes. We have the Cadillac boot and leather care lotion. And then we've got the Money's Worth cream polish. Not sure if I just said that. And the Lincoln Stain Wax. We also have a horse hair brush, six inches by preference because the eight inch is really heavy. And then you have the horse hair wooden dauber. Yay, thanks for joining me. Thanks for writing in chat. I look forward to seeing uh, what you have to say and thanks for being with me. Next week, I'm gonna do a two part series on Birkenstocks. The first one's gonna be how to resole a Birkenstock and the other one will be how to glue a Birkenstock. 
So uh, thanks you guys, and I will see you again on Saturday for our shoe stretching series. Okay, aloha.